Hello, this is a Pastor Shen. Uh, today, uh, I'll, I'll talk about the faith church teach today is full of lies and fakes. But funny thing is that no one reads question or suspicion. There are demons on top of the pastor's head and put false belief into them. And since the pastor are in that state, so do those Christians that follow them. And I know that there aren't many people who listen to what I say. But I am in an awkward position to keep on saying these things. I am, I am commanded by the Holy Spirit to let the world know who this, this is demons walk and chase them out. So let's get at the title of our discussion today and see why a lot of what the church teachers is false. Uh, for uh, it is with your heart uh, that you believe and are uh, justified, and it is with your mouth that uh, you profess your faith and are saved. Rome uh, chapter 10 and uh, verse 10. Uh, they replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Act uh, chapter 16, uh, verse uh, 31. Church teach, uh, church teach new followers, uh, they have faith that uh, promised salvation and eternal life once they accept uh, Christ as their Savior. And uh, the people themselves also think that they are attending church and participate in church activities because of their faith. In addition, they claim they felt God's grace working in their lives, uh, had uh, their prayer answered, and have no problem in their faith. A belief is a Confidence or reliance in someone or something. There are two kinds of belief. One is trust, uh, firm belief in their reliability, and trust, ability, or strength of someone or something. And the trust definition relies a lot of world accuracy and expresses how. A true or are able to object, object of a trust is. The other kind of faith, uh, this word is often used to uh, describe religious belief, usually given by God in the form of confidence or love. So you must uh, define your belief, whether it is true, uh, trust or faith. However, Church today do not differentiate. According to them, everything is considered faith. In conclusion, a trust is something you accept according to what your brain feels as a confident, and faith is confidence God approved. So your belief is either trust or faith. Let's talk. Let's take a look at your belief and see uh, if it is God approved or self assured you feel. If you, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Matthew uh, chapter 21, uh, verse 22. Uh, true, uh, truly, I tell you, if anyone says to uh, this mountain, Go through uh, yourself in uh, the sea, and do not doubt in their heart, but believe uh, that what they say will happen. It will 
be done for them. Uh, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be uh, yours. Mark uh, chapter 11, uh, verse 23, 24. Uh, this is uh, uh, verses tell you what faith is and what God approves as faith. Uh, do you pray, believing, uh, believing you will receive? Uh, or do you pray, doubt, doubting uh, or feeling if? You probably uh, pray, believing you will get everything you ask. And you might even went up uh, a notch and uh, pray, uh, pray harder and participate in more activities. A morning prayer and various prayer meetings that require more of your energy and time probably didn't do you much good, much good through, uh, through uh, though. It is because that belief you uh, thought uh, was faced Wilson got approved. It was just you, your psychological trust you had in yourself. No wonder you don't get what you asked for, although you believe in receiving them. Uh, this, uh, these thoughts are given uh, to you by demon. They con you into thinking your self-assurance uh, through faith. And they tell you that you are to uh, totally fine and saved by your faith that you have the right uh, to enter heaven, uh, for you have recited uh, the acceptance prayer. But uh, the truth is that the la large number of Christians don't have anything to do with heaven at all. Jesus said, God's kingdom is within us. That means the Holy Spirit comes to this world and let God's kingdom come. Then shouldn't we, the follower of Jesus Christ, all experience and enjoy God's kingdom as we speak? But many people live meaninglessly uh, with faith as powerless as possible. So they go, uh, go to their pastor asking for spiritual guidance. And uh, the answer, they usually receive is, your time has not yet come, or your faith is not strong enough. <clears throat> and you are uh, pressured uh, to participate in church activities even more on top of what you are doing right now. But for the people who worked at, the, uh, at that the hardest, of course, the pastor themselves so then, do, do they live happily ever after uh, with the power given by the Holy Spirit? And the, uh, these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. Uh, <clears throat> they will uh, pick up snakes with their hands and when they uh, drink deadly poison or uh, poison I do, uh, do, it will not hurt them at all they will place their hands and sick people and they will get well mark uh, chapter uh, uh, chapter 16 uh, both uh, 17 7, uh, 18 uh, 16 I'm sorry the faith a Bible talk about is not something you gain by believing in it or participating in church activities. The Holy Spirit has to give it uh, to you. Uh, he has to approve and give you, you sign. The sign includes the 
ability to bring miracles such as chasing demons and healing sick people, just like Jesus had said. Then, why do you not have faith? After all these years of religious life you lead, it is because、uh, you have ignored God's command to love Him with all your life. He looked for a people who keep close relationship、uh, with Him, uh, uh, someone that calls Him day and night, asking、uh, for the Holy, Holy Spirit presence. Wherever he or she goes, he want his creation to come and seek him, and that is the reason why my ministry is a specific fight to training people to pray. Shouldn't you make sure your faith is true as well, showing this is a miracle, miraculous. A sign and power given by the Holy Spirit. If you just want to re- repeat what you are doing for church, fully believing your belief、uh, to be faith, you will pay for it sooner or later. That's all for today. Thank you.